Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Cabinet meeting of Wednesday, the 2nd of October, 2024. First Cabinet meeting under the new administration. So welcome, everybody, and thank you for attending. Firstly, can I ask Democratic Services to start recording? Thanks, Matthew. Good, um, obviously, good afternoon. Please note the meeting has been recorded and may be broadcast via the authorities' internet website. Images and sound recording may also be used for training purposes with the authority. Within the authority. Sorry. Okay, firstly, apologies for absence. Thank you, Matthew. Second item on the agenda, any declarations of interest? No, no declarations of interest recorded. Thank you very much. We'll move on to the third item on the agenda then, which is schools balances 2023 to 2025, to consider a report from the Director of Education. Councillor Lewis, I believe you're going to open it up. Yeah, thank you, Chair. Uh, this report focuses on school balances and outlines the financial position of the local authority schools and the impact of budget reductions applied in 2023-24 and 24-25. The report was presented to the Learning and LGES Scrutiny Committee on Monday, the 9th of September, and the recommendations are set out in 2.1 and 2.2 of the report, which are the amendment to the direction of schools' excess budget balances and clawback policy as per 3.9, and to the school's financial monitoring, scrutiny, and intervention policy as per 3.10 until further notice be approved. And finally, the financial categorization of schools as in Appendix 1 be approved. I therefore move both recommendations. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Councillor Lewis. Do we have a seconder? Happy to second, Chair. Thanks, Councillor Andrew Williams Price. Do we have any questions? Any comments? Councillor Anna Williams Price. Thank you. <clears throat> this information is important to set the full picture of school finances and is necessary to also highlight the challenging financial picture across local government and all aspects of public services at this current time. As we move towards budget setting, Council Lewis as Member for Education and myself as Member for Governance and Resources, which includes responsibility for finance, are committed to working together and also with schools to ensure that school finances are as robust as possible in the current financial climate. Thank you. Thanks, Anna. The figures and categorisations presented in this report shows the declining nature of school balances across the local authority. It should, however, be highlighted that all local authorities across Wales, um, across Wales, schools balances on the 31st of March 2024 fell across Wales year on year by 54% and 21% of all schools were in deficit compared to 8% the pre previous year, reflecting a similar position to Merthyr Tydfil County Borough Council. School balances across Wales are, the most challenging, are in the most challenging position they have been since March 2020, just before the pandemic, and there are a similar number of schools in deficit at that at time. All schools will now formally be notified of their approved financial categorisations and the next steps are outlined in section 8 of the report. We must agree on an approach for setting the school's formula funding for 25-26 as part of the council's budget setting process. The next school's budget forum is scheduled for Friday the 18th of October and cabinet and full council will be updated accordingly. Thank you chair. Thank you councillor Lewis. As councillor Lewis has spoken we'll move straight to the vote. Carius, can I hand over to yourself? Yes, so I'm assuming we're using the voting system. Yes, yeah, so members, if you can press the relevant button on the pad in front of you, remembering that on the left is in favour, on the right is against, and in the middle is abstain. Thank you, members. That's Carius, Chair. Thanks, Carius. 
Moving on to the information reports highlighted in four, five, and six. We will take them all together, the information reports only. So we'll move then straight on to the agenda item seven, which is any other business deemed urgent by the chair. I haven't any. So we'll move on to agenda item eight, which is an exempt exempt reports. Can I have somebody to move section 100, please? Section 100, chair. Can I have somebody to second it as well, please? Second that, Chair. Just if, we, if we can take that to the vote as well, please. And that's carried, Chair. 